So PewDiePie posted a video of him drawing for 100 days showing how much he has improved during that time and a lot of people in the comments and on Twitter are lamenting the fact that he got better at drawing in just 100 days compared to those who have been drawing for years and as an artist who did something similar to what PewDiePie has done and have seen a significant amount of progress in a relatively short amount of time I think I have some insights as to how and why PewDiePie improved so quickly. And if you're planning to do something similar in the future, I'll be giving some tips on how to get started. First reason is, well, he drew daily. Drawing 10 to 15 minutes a day is better than drawing 2 hours on the weekends. Even if you're spending more time with the latter, your attention only really lasts 10 to 15 minutes. And after that, it starts dropping off really hard. Less attention means learning becomes less efficient. So if you do those 10 to 15 minute drawing sessions, over the course of a week then that collective one hour and 45 minutes starts to look more valuable than that two hour session which means you make more progress even though you're doing less hours another reason why he improved the way he did is he is actively learning if you want to improve faster you would need to actively engage in the process of learning to draw instead of just mindlessly sketching you can still get something out of mindless sketches but it won't be as much as if you're paying attention which is what PewDiePie seemed to be doing. It seems like he draws without distractions and immerses into drawing as much as he could. On this end, he's using references, both of photos of himself and of other artists' work, which makes sense. It's a really good and efficient way to learn as long as you're doing it correctly. When I was doing daily studies for the face, I started looking for landmarks, like special points and planes that you can look for and copy. When I need to learn how to draw the head at a certain angle, I look for the bottom of the brow and the top of the cheek. Then, from the corner of the cheeks, you can form a triangle towards the chin, which forms the front of the face. And then, from the corner of the brow, you can form a square, which forms the forehead. Now, you can see how the rest of the head falls right into place. Using this made it easier for me to understand faces in different angles. It's not perfect by any means, but this is what worked for me. It might work for you as well, or you might need to find something else. As you grow as an artist, you start seeing structure differently, and how you see things will depend on your priorities. This is just one way to see things. The point is, you should look underneath the surface instead of just copying. Look for the structure and break them down into small, understandable bits. And the last reason why he got as good as he did is because he drew what he liked. I saw a few comments about how PewDiePie should have learned more fundamentals, maybe studied some life drawings instead of just drawing anime girls. And to that I say, shut the fuck up. Let the guy draw what he wants. He's not trying to become a professional artist. He's not trying to become Leonardo da Vinci. He just wants to be able to draw anime girls better. And he's having fun doing so. If you're going to take away anything from this, is that the worst thing you can do is to make this drawing thing into a chore. It's supposed to be fun. It's like a From Software game. It's supposed to be hard and frustrating at times, but it's supposed to be fun. If you're not having fun, even if you're studying efficiently, you're going to burn out and you're going to have a hard time picking up that pencil again. If you don't want to draw something, you don't have to learn how to draw it. You don't have to learn all the bones in the body, know how they connect with the tendons and the muscles, or learn three point and four point perspective just so you can draw Kobeni dancing. I'm not saying you shouldn't learn more fundamentals. I would recommend artists of all ages and skill levels to actively study fundamentals whenever they can. It will help, obviously. But this idea that you need to learn all these other things before you learn the thing that you actually want to draw is quite harmful. It forms this unnecessary wall that just makes things harder, especially for beginners. There are a lot of artists who don't need to know anatomy that much. And there are also successful artists who don't really use perspective. It's fine not to know everything. You don't need to be hyper efficient where you're min maxing every aspect of this. This isn't a race where if you don't learn fast enough, you'll get left behind and lose. Think of it more as a walk in the forest. You can go and follow the known trails and that would be fine. You can go off and try to find your own path. Maybe you'll get lost for a bit, but you might find a place where no one has been before. You can find other people who can guide you to a place they know and stay there for a while. 
don't worry too much about missing out on the other parts of the forest. They will still be there when you're ready. If you're one of the people who got inspired by PewDiePie's video, then here's what you can expect, as well as some tips. Number 1. Progress isn't really linear. You might think it looks like this, but in reality, it looks closer to this. There will be stretches of time where you would look into your work and think that it's crap. That is normal. It looks bad until you get a breakthrough and your skills shoot up altogether. Then you start to plateau again. Your first 100 days might be slower than pubes. I know mine was. But at day 150 or day 200, you might start growing faster. Don't get too discouraged when you don't see the results that you expected. This takes time, a lot of time, patience, and faith in yourself. I don't think my art skills are up there, but it definitely is better than where it would have been had I not stuck with this. This could be really rewarding if you're willing to persevere. Number 2. Watch Blue Period Number 3. Most of the skills that PewDiePie got in this 100 days involved mostly referencing and copying, which are good skills to have, especially really good skills to have first because it enables you to learn more skills faster. You have to remember though that drawing isn't really one skill, it's a bunch of smaller skills in a trench coat. Some of them are easier than the others, depending on you. You might grasp lighting faster than anatomy, or vice versa. If you're having trouble on a specific skill, try leaning on that referencing skill for a bit. Copy real-life images as well as other artists' work, then break them down into components that you could understand. Then, if you're thinking you're getting a better grasp on it, try doing them without referencing. You would usually surprise yourself. PewDiePie also did this in this video, and the face he drew without reference was already pretty good. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye.